peace happen now. Now the vibrate, of course. We're not going too far in the future. We're not going too far in the past. Right now. Right now. We're gonna get into uh we we'll get into some movies. I want to get into the movie Alien Nation, also uh, the Truman, uh, Truman Show. As a matter of fact, get into the best uh, to my abilities, you know. So y'all, please uh, thank y'all ahead of time for y'all patience and bearing with me. Cause it's gonna be a bunch of things I'm kind of flipping through. You know, I don't usually uh, have that many different notes, but it, again, I want to make sure I kind of, you know. Like when you do certain videos, you just want to make sure you don't forget like, like if you do a video that's at least of like 30 minutes or more, an hour long, it's like, all right, well shit, if I did it this long, let me make sure I got every little, you know. So when the person's sitting there, they, you know, getting flooded with a lot of information, but not overwhelmed to where, you know, you can't uh, you know, articulate it and, you know, intellectualize it, but, you know. Now starting off, I want to uh, start off with this information about you know, the uh, silent weapons for a quiet war, you know, but basically I came across this book, matter of fact, an LSU bookstore in the Barnes and Nobles over here. It's called Behold the Pale Horse, and it's written by uh, William Cooper, uh, a.k.a. Bill Cooper, former United States Naval Intelligence uh, briefing team member, member, I'm sorry. In 1988, Bill decided to talk due to events uh, then taking place worldwide events that he had seen plans for back in the early 70s bill was not a psychic his information came from top secret documents that he read while working with the intelligence briefing team and from over 17 years of thorough research now what i'm about to uh get into is one of the the documents that he uh you know that because in this book he actually presents you know uh documents and he lets you know like what he emphasizes or what's his words and what you know you're looking at as the actual document or whatever but uh but this is the document basically dealing with uh the silent weapons for quiet wars and it is the doctrine adopted by the policy committee of the Bilderberg group during its first known meeting in 1954 so this is in 1954 you know it's first again first known meeting Again, as I'm talking, speaking on this information, this is coming, you know, uh, a lot of stuff directly paraphrasing, you know, from, from the book. So, you know, it's not me just, you know, I think that's another thing to I'll let you know if it's like, all right, I have this hunch or this comes from the information, you know. But anyway, uh, silent wars for quiet, I mean, silent weapons for quiet wars, you know, is the doctrine adopted by the policy committee of the Bilderberg Group during its first known meeting in 1954. As I'm speaking on this, definitely go check out my video about dystopia. You know, about dystopias. D-Y-S-T-O-P-I-A. I get into Aldous Huxley, and uh, I forgot the original name, but the one who made the Skinner Box. You know, and again, how, you know, creating a dystopia is about, you know, uh, creating a certain type of slave that doesn't even know they're a slave where they they think they get luxuries and, oh a cell phone this and that but not knowing them what cell phone waves killing their brain and lowering their vibration and if they don't know their past if they don't know that this happened to me before you know or that i'm way stronger than this and i always been way stronger than this then they just gonna fall victim oh yeah cell phone this and that you know without going you know without knowing what's going on so the following document dated May 1979 was found on July 7, 1986 in an IBM copier that had been purchased at a surplus sale. So let's see, I think this is the, I think this is the words within the, the actual document. I, had, I sat there and wrote all this out. It is, it is patently it is patently impossible to discuss social engineering or the autonomation of society, i.e. the engineering of social autonom autonomation systems or silent weapons. All right, let me start because I read my own words in cursive. Let me make sure I don't slaughter this. 
it is patently like pat like a patent uh patently impossible to discuss social engineering or the aut automation of society i.e the engineering of social automation systems quote unquote or in parentheses silent weapons on a national or worldwide scale without implying extensive objectives of social control and destruct and destruction of human life i.e slavery and genocide so all right now i'm paraphrasing right here so basically what it's saying is it's, it's impossible for us to discuss social engineering you know uh without the automation of society without uh so basically in so many words it's hard to in a lot of cases it's hard to social engineering without actually making it obvious that's what they're saying you know in most cases it's hard to do this you know without making it obvious you know so that's what it's basically saying so again it is patently impossible to discuss social engineering or the automation of society i.e the engineering of social automation systems on a national or worldwide scale without implying intensive objectives of social control and destruction of human life i.e slavery and genocide you know because yeah if you say if you see somebody holding some chains you know and a bunch of guns walking at you, you gonna no way hold on these motherfuckers probably coming to make me a slave you know what i'm saying like is going to be obviously seen and again spoken of in the you know the dystopia video that i did you know it's going to be in ways that you know it's going to seem like oh this isn't harmful or this and that you know it's a disguise and matter of fact getting so reading from the manuscript again this manual is in itself an analog declaration of intent such a writing must be secured from the public scrutiny Otherwise, it might be recognized as a, a technically formal declaration of domestic war. Furthermore, whenever any person or group of persons in a position of great power and without full knowledge and consent of the public uses such knowledge and methodology for economic conquest, it must be understood. I know they use the word understood to stand under. It must be understood that a state of domestic warfare exists between said person or group of persons and the public. The solution of today's problems require, requires an approach which is ruthlessly candid with no agonizing over religion, over religious, moral or cultural values. You have qualified for this project because of your ability to look at human society with cold objectivity and yet analyze and discuss your observations and conclusions with others of similar intellect, intellectual capacity without a loss of discretion or humility. Such virtues are exercised in your own best interests. Do not deviate from them. So basically, you know, this is like, again, like the message to the people at the group, like, hey, we about to start this silent war, you know, basically, you know, uh, creating a dystopia vibe where we implementing things where people don't really know they're being turned into slaves, but they really are, you know what I'm saying? So it's like saying, uh, with this manual, this manual is in itself an analog declaration of intent. So saying like this, this written is saying like, we about to do this shit. You know what I'm saying? And such a, a document should be, you know, kept secret. Otherwise, it would be obvious that we are, you know, pulling the domestic war. Like, you know, basically we at war. Like, you know, how we talk about, like, say, family, when I be like, shout out to the domestic family, shout out to the international family, you know, internationally, domestic meaning within this, you know, quote unquote country, you know. But uh, it'll be considered a domestic war, you know, and, uh, Basically, in so many words, it just should be swept under the rug. And then, and they say that too. They like the solution of today's problems requires an approach which is ruthlessly candid. Candid mean you know hitting, and ruthlessly meaning like you know like at all stops we're gonna be as candid as fucking possible. You know we're gonna hide this shit as best as possible with no agonizing over religious moral or cultural values you know so we're not gonna try to do it this time of like 
again, that's basically saying we're not going to uh, do crusades and be evangelists and try to recruit in everybody into Christianity. We're going to create a vibe that's going to, you know, allow them, give them the illusion that they think they're having a choice of being free. But really, we've been social engineering them to go along with what they have going along with this whole time, you know. You have qualified for this project because of your ability to look at human society. So this message is almost to the people at the meeting, like, uh, you are qualified for this project because you don't give a fuck about humanity, basically. That's <laughs> in so many words. You know, fuck the euphemism, like, they say cold objectivity, meaning, like, you just don't give a fuck about human life to a level where it's like, uh, I'm, I'm going to be able to fuck over them because, you know, now we're uh, getting to uh, the area where it's kind of more about uh, speaking on uh, what Bill, Bill the person who wrote the, uh, the book, speaking on. Uh, energy is recognized as the key to all activity on Earth. Natural science is the study of sources and control of natural energy, and social science theoretically expresses a... Uh, and social science theoretically expressed as economics is the study of the sources and control of social energy you know so basically speaking on how uh, you know natural science is the basically the study of the sources but also the sources of energy but also the control of natural energy so it's like how can natural science how can we control natural energy you know like a you know the oil and stuff like that you know that vibe and then also again uh controlling societal energy through social science you know how can i control society's uh, social energy you know and matter of fact both are uh, bookkeeping systems matter of fact just like the bookies you know in the gamma situation i like the stock market where you are a stock in bondage you know matter of fact where it's never really you know uh like ain't nothing but eat imaginary money like a stockbroker basically like spending money before it really even exists you know because they selling people wolf tickets you know wolf tickets mean they just selling people a dream of like well yeah this company is getting this much money you should invest you should invest you should invest but you invest in money but that's building up and fluctuating and shit like that while they playing with the money and using it and just selling you again oh this and that and, that and, that. and like Oh yeah, look at the stocks. I have this much in stock, but you're not using it. So therefore, it's kind of just sitting there and could be taken away or go up at any time. But in essence, you're not really using it. So it's just kind of like, you know, just kind of sitting around. But again, uh, you know, the natural science and social science, uh, in essence, is both are like bookkeeping system. Mathematics, therefore, mathematics, uh, mathematics is the primary energy science and the bookkeeper can be king if the public can be kept ignorant of the methodology of the bookkeeping you know so kind of with them the way you know uh they run this football game and then after they run it they see like uh all right how many people watched it you know are they becoming awoke or not let's run this type of commercial let's see you know it's like again bookkeeping without you knowing so as long as you don't see that they're keeping those type of books you know you'll be ignorant to the fact that they studying you like that you know what i'm saying so that's another thing to it as well and as far as the silent weapon the aspect uh let's see shoots out situation so like what they're talking about like the silent weapon it shoots out situations instead of bullets propelled by data processing instead of chemical reaction or explosion originating from bits of data bits of data instead of uh what it is instead of grains of gunpowder it uh from a computer instead of a gun you know what i'm saying so it's like instead of a gun it's going to be a computer instead of gunpowder it's going to be bits of, da of data you know instead of bullets you know it's going to be situations being shot at you you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, can't think of examples now. But <laughs> and it, uh, it makes no obvious noise and explosion, causes no obvious physical or mental injuries, and does not obviously interfere with anyone's daily social life. 
the public might instinctively feel that something is wrong, but because, and this is important, the public might instinctively feel like something is wrong, but because of the technical nature of the silent weapon, they cannot express their feelings in a rational way or handle the problem with intelligence. Therefore, they do not know how to cry for help and do not know how to associate with others to defend themselves against it. When a silent weapon is applied gradually, the public adjusts and adapts to its presence and learns to tolerate its encroachment on their lives until the pressure becomes too great and they crack up. You know, and I kind of use like a, uh, like a Kanye matter of fact, but like the situation like what uh, the social engineering that was uh, you know, that was trying to be applied to me when I was in LA, you know, uh, certain people in the little Abbott Adventist area trying to socially engineer me to a certain mind frame. And it had that same effect, like where, you know, you could feel something like, like to say if the public might instinctively feel something is wrong, like I'm like, bro, I know something is wrong with the way they talking to me and over, oh man, we love you, I love you, like everything which is over loving, you know, indirectly, kind of like men kissing each other in the neck and, you know, trying to demasculize. But I, again, I'm like, with the beginning of my growth kind, just like being open-minded this way, you know, all right, that's just people being themselves. But then I saw like, all right, nah, they kind of just doing it to reinforce me into that type of, you know, uh, energy and vibration. You know, and that's why I always felt funny about being in that place, you know, in those certain areas, you know, because I felt the I felt the silent weapon, you know, basically, like I could feel that energy, and a lot of us feel it, and that's why too a lot of us feel like you know, like again, like they say, you don't know what to do, you don't know who to run to, you know, and that's the whole thing. Because another thing too with the vibe where it's set up too a silent weapon where. Like how, so say for instance, the reason why I'm not like, you know, exactly like this person did this to me and that person did this to me. And it, cause well, for one, ain't nobody doing nothing. I invited that through my own inner universe, my own inner energy invited that situation. So let's get that clear. But, uh, you know, reason why I'm not like this person, that person, because it's done in such a slick, clever way. Well, you know, if you go to like, man, that person, this and that, like, oh man, you crazy. Like, are you crazy or something we're gonna get into that in the truman show uh as well you know where when like all like eyes wide shut of the truman show when like everybody in cahoots with the situation you know you like wondering if you crazy or seeming crazy and it throws your own psyche off you want to like well what the fuck like i'm not tripping or you know this and that you know because i'm seeing synchronicity i had a synchronicity of running into this person so you know i would think that sources got me in the right direction but i still feel funny even though it's synchronicity, we're running into this person. You know, it's like, oh, maybe it ain't synchronicity. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's synchronicity to the extent, because so it's teaching your ass to stay away from those people, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it comes in the synchronicity, you, you know, running into them, but, you know. But uh, getting back into the words from the book. Uh, but therefore, the silent weapon is a type of biological warfare. It attacks the vitality options and mobility of the individuals of, of a society by knowing understanding manipulating and attacking their sources of natural social let me say it again i want to say it right therefore the silent weapon is a type of biological warfare it attacks the vitality options and mobility of the individuals of a society by knowing understanding manipulating and attacking their sources of natural and social energy and their physical mental and emotional strengths and uh weaknesses you know again that's why a lot of people out in la like oh what you get into what you doing like you know and trying to find out what what makes you tick and you know social engineering all right this this is what you vibe with gonna throw this your way you know it's like as the whole you know <laughs> the whole vibe of the situation now to uh get into the movie aspects you know because again that's what you know the hollywood hollywood is a silent weapon you know basically but, uh, let's see So Alienation, Alienation was a movie that came out, uh, what, in 1988? 
something like that by these aliens, you know, uh, brought to Earth as slaves, you know, with superhuman strength. Matter of fact, said to come from Andromeda, this and that. Matter of fact, basically this whole move is a, you know, a parallel to uh, to the melanated beings, you know, or what a lot of people quote unquote call black uh, black people. You know, uh, it is a correlation to to that. Uh, you know, basically to our situation in America and on this planet, in essence. Because the more and more I start to get away from, you know. Uh, certain programming of like spiritual information and just tapping into my own energies i'm being brought to you know to certain information i know i'm not being brought to it you know because it's you know something that's misinforming me but uh anyway uh and i'm just gonna be breaking this down from little notes that i kind of just remember little points because the first thing that's why i'm like Wait, hold on, let's start with that. Because I got a touch screen computer. But basically the reason why I wrote that down was, you know, seeing the social engineering and the fact of, like, showing, you know, what it was to come as far as what they were going to be pro promoting. But well, this movie is, like, 1988, and they had a phone where it was FaceTiming on, like, a, like, a, uh, like, the old school phones with the wire, with the card on it, you know what I'm saying? But it had, like, a little FaceTime aspect. Well, matter of fact, uh... But the alien was, uh, and again, go look it up and, and look at it. Matter of fact, spoiler alert as I'm speaking on this too. You know, so you may want to uh, not watch, you may want to go, matter of fact, go watch the Alienation movie. I got it. I, I came across it on YouTube. YouTube actually has the whole movie. And uh, the Truman Show, you know, spoiler alert. Getting down to uh, breaking in that, or breaking down that. So, but. Uh, so yeah, you see that foreshadowing little vibe, or should I say social engineering with the cell phone vibe in it. But also this uh, movie is taking place at the end of the millennia. Everybody fearing the end. Uh, matter of fact, let's see. Yeah, claiming the end of the world and claiming like a... So on this movie, it's like, oh, man, it's the end of the millennia, this and that. And what's crazy, this is, again, social engineering. They were preparing you for what they were going to start doing in the year, uh, you know, 99 and, you know, right before 2000, you know. Then you think about it, it's no coincidence. Stanley Kubrick with, uh, you know, the Space Odyssey coming out in 2001. You know, artificial intelligence, something he wrote as well, you know. 2000 or 2000 or it came out in 2000 2001 9-11 you know when the twin towers fell you know or when they knocked down jack ken and boaz however you want to see it you know uh it was all symbolism uh tied into that but again uh this is taking place at the end of the millennium 2000 is the end of the world you know so it's trying to fear manga people into that so social engineering right there from the beginning you know talking about oh mad suicides all over this and that trying to put that into your brain you know population control with fear programming you know basically like oh it's the end this and that you know and you see that vibe again of like uh where they kind of again coaxing you for stuff that they're going to be bringing along, you know, uh, later on down the line. Now, using now a cooler aspect about this, because also movies does give, uh, you know, certain truths out as well, you know, but they basically using something that opens up portals. Like the movie starts off with two humans and two aliens in this strange planet. And as the human starts to become fearful of the surroundings, the the aliens were telling them, you know, like, uh, stay calm, like it's your own fear. Uh, spider trying to walk up on me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't want no spider to just walk up on me. Blow him. Anyway, <laughs> the the uh, the aliens were telling them, like, you know, like calm down, like you know, don't be fearful, you know. Uh, Cause that's another thing too, like the the indirect little schooling of how, 
you know, uh, being fearless, you know, when we're connecting to source, connecting to spirit, you know, you want to be as fearless as possible, you know. Stay as fearless as possible as I blow that spider away. <laughs> so anyway, uh, having the, the the two aliens and the two uh two humans in this little strange world, like in this little portal, and uh basically like having these uh oh man, I just thought about it. You see, that's why again, why you don't do that to Amazon again. That mind frame, I'm subconscious programmed to still think like, man, that spider still might, you know, uh, bite me or something. You know what I'm saying? That nature. And that's an ancestor, uh, one of my relatives just coming closer because they feel my energy just in the form of a spider. But, you know, again, speaking of fear. But anyway, uh, so they had this situation, you see, with uh, opening up a portal. Now, basically, uh, which it seemed like is like a tesseract, like, you know, with the wrinkle in time and interstellar where, you know, the little imploding cube inside a cube, you know, uh, but basically like that allows for us to like, almost like the Akashic Records allowing for us to simultaneous, simultaneously access different periods in existence, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's a box uh, that can only be opened pro properly with the pure eye and heart. As a matter of fact, they got some little gemstones on the on the box, so it kind of let you know how the significance of gems indirectly, you know, uh, are crystals. And they rub the certain little crystal, and then that open the box, you know. Uh, so kind of in essence, again, like to to open up this portal or this box, you know, you gotta be, you know, uh, have a, a pure eye and heart. So I mean, you know, the pineal open and pure, and the heart you know, uh, open and pure. So, you know, they do, again, leak a little sauce in there, but they, you know, again, no, they 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 give me that information, but that's because they also going to disrupt it and, you know, throw it off, which you'll see. But uh, she rubbed her finger over certain jewels on the box and it opened. They instantly went from standing in a house to another planet. Somebody burned, somebody burned their body by opening the portal improperly. And matter of fact, I think about a kundalini raising. Like when you go to raising your kundalini, I fact, you talk about a, you know, a human combustion and stuff like that. You know, uh, that could be compared to, you know, so when somebody opens this portal improperly, you know, they burn up. That's kind of like, you know, a pineal gland. Uh, I mean. You know, kundalini being uh, raised whenever you're not ready for that energy, you know what I'm saying? That could throw you off, you know, or in essence harm your spiritual growth or harm you in general. You know, so that's an analogy to that as well. Uh, the box was stolen from the shrine, and as the shrine was basically like this little, uh, this little sacred spot that, you know, the, what they call, uh, I forgot what they call them, the newcomers. You know, uh, there's also some other names from, because again, just like, just like indi indirectly, so instead of saying niggers, you know what I'm saying, or black people, it's like, oh, the aliens, you know what I'm saying? And, and again, uh, you see the direct correlations throughout the whole, you know, but, uh, because Planet of the Apes was written out uh, basically as you know, the straight up story with, you know, uh, melanated people on the planet and uh, how the little situation unfolded. But, you know, because there was going to be too straight up, you know, the writers got to it, like the movie people and was like, nah, you know, you got to got to switch up this. You know, we can't we ain't delivering this message straight up like for what it is, you know, but uh, the box was stolen from the shrine and is said to be used by elder students looking to give people a quick path to enlightenment. And matter of fact, you know, uh, the little head mother, she was a female lady, you know, almost like the oracle, you know, and she kind of talked, you know, like softly and, you know, planting flowers and just had that little, you know, that little connected. Uh, and two, also trying to show that vibe is like indirectly programming of like the only way to 
to be you know spiritual is to be extremely you know peaceful like this person is you know what i'm saying like so it was subtly trying to promote that as well but she she was like saying one of the things she said which is kind of uh key anybody seeking a fast past uh, anybody seeking a fast path into enlightenment is in grave danger you know what i'm saying and you know that is something that is uh you know true like so matter of fact and also you can see this box in which they they draw the comparison in the movie where the box that or this box or this portal that opens is uh in comparison of like a psychedelic experience you know what i'm saying you know we don't want to rush ourselves into our spiritual growth or into a psychedelic experience you know what i'm saying not knowing what we're dealing with you know that that portal had that same parallel of energy you know when they spoke of it and dealt with it in the movie but uh and again you know like the tortoise wins the race with the uh with our spiritual growth so you see too like again it's a little bit of sauce being leaked in there you know And uh, along with the light, there is a strong darkness as well. You have to be mentally strong. And matter of fact, and then, uh, and then that, that's what the lady was saying. Like, along with the light, there is a strong darkness as well. Like, letting us know our spiritual growth. Like, you know, along with as much as light we got, we got that much darkness. And just being aware of that darkness as well as that light. You know, and she like, uh, you have to be mentally strong to, you know, go into that realm and not be overwhelmed by your darkness you know what i'm saying being conscious of your darkness in that sense then again the cop reference like oh like lsd and how bad vibes uh come on bug you just getting too close on me now <laughs> but, uh, again uh yeah, he referenced like the, you know, like, oh, so like, like a DMT trip, like, or like, no, he didn't say DMT, it's like, like a LSD trip, because matter of fact, and directly, you know, instead of talking about mushrooms or DMT, you know, ayahuasca, the more healthier forms of it, you know, they bring up LSD, so showing you within this movie, like, there's programming within the programming, you know what I'm saying, like, socially engineering you, getting you, getting you ready, or, or just revamping because not getting you ready because they already done did the thing with Grateful Dead. This happened in the 80s, so by this time they done already promoted LSD on that certain type of level. But this again, like a little reinforcement to just kind of bring it up. So, like, oh yeah. So, also, too, comparing LSD to like this box, you know, of spiritual awakening. So, in your mind, you know, again, they're not saying, hey, LSD is like opening the box of portal that's going to spiritually awaken, awaken you, but. They indirectly telling you that through the symbology of the movie, you know what I'm saying? So even though the word is not saying that you, uh, you know, create that correlation, you know, uh, through the symbols being played uh, into your subconscious. Now, another uh, another aspect of the movie and dealing with some of the programming, uh, the aliens are Americanizing themselves, becoming something they're not. Uh, basically programming high conscious beings to worry about bills and other stuff as a matter of fact uh even and, and i mean this movie was like literally they had a part so let's see post slave stress so they had a part with a husband because that's another thing too indirect subconscious programming because again you see how everything correlates they got like they were slaves who were slaves recently around here you know, when we talk about superhuman strength, you know, it's not saying nobody better than nobody, but like Bruce Lee say, you know, if I if I say that I'm not good at what I do, I'll be lying. You know, and, and if I uh no, if I say I'm good at what I do, you'll think I'm trying to uh you know, think too much of myself. But if I say I'm not good at what I do, I'm I'll be lying. But like the superhuman strength, you see LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Bo Jackson, you know, Lawrence Taylor, like uh you know, all these different people, you know, this, the human strength. So you're seeing that direct correlation. But again, uh, they had a part. So, oh, that's what I was going to say, too. Like the, and, and for the aliens, the males are the ones that have the baby and act a little more feminine. You know, so indirectly, you know, kind of throwing that little programming out. But basically, the husband was buying up all kind of stuff. He was just like buying shit, buying shit. 
and the, the the wife was on some vibes like well you know like damn you know you've been like almost being like the male of like well you know oh man you know like the head of the household like well you've been buying up this and buying up that you know uh it must be from basic they straight up straight up post slave stress like your post dramatic slave stress you know well like you're you're buying all these things to make up for when we never had anything like this is literally like word for word like I, my jaw almost dropped at high parallel i'm like damn i'm like you know because again the programming can't be too obvious you know and of course i know it's extremely that obvious for me because you know my pineal open and i'm you know aware of this situation but you know i mean even the most ignorant person could see the parallel that they're drawing and trying to draw in this movie you know what i'm saying and and uh you know what's the aim of the programming in that sense but again like had that party and matter of fact claiming that the husband was buying all these material things to make up for the days that they were without you know again that direct parallel to the you know quote unquote african americans the black people in america and also with them showing like taking care of bills and this and that trying to program us to not be true to our uh soulful natural selves you know because again we know that too much electronics and you know uh like having a mortgage and stuff like that that's all you know uh european ideas and and be real with your push ideas to take us away from our true nature you know what i'm saying and they pushing it like showing like hey you see how these aliens come they come from a strange area and this and that and they still do these human things like the you know like, cause even and, and programming you to be of a vibe that even though you have higher intelligence and know you have higher intelligence, to bow down to a, a, a slower form of intelligence. Again, no better, no worse, but just it is what it is. A, a lower, slower form of intelligence, giving up your high consciousness. You know what I'm saying? To be worried about paying bills and some other human shit. You know, so it's trying to program you in that manner. Again, uh, the men having babies, so the, uh, the gender gender switching programming, you know, with that. And matter of fact, they had a situation where there's, matter of fact, watching the TV show, you know, uh, and speaking on how the TV show had certain racial stereotypes, it was some, it was some show, and it was making the alien seem like stupid, like, yeah, I'm just the alien, I don't know better than everybody, ha 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 ha. So just again. Uh, that old ser serial killer vibe too of not necessarily just programming you but showing you how they do you by showing you how they do you you know what I'm saying like putting it in the, the movie blatantly so you see it you know of how like how you know in times coming up like where they did the black face at one time with the white lips and some people the white people paint their face uh, black to mimic a little black person this and that and you know, but clowning, you know, uh, the melanated people on that level, you know, it was corresponding to that vibe, you know, and how TV did that, uh, and still trying to do that, you know, as we speak. Because, <laughs> matter of fact, the, and matter of fact, this is also in a situation, because another thing, too, promoting, uh, trying to promote, uh, like, uh, the vibe of, because it's not necessarily because again remember these are nothing but body suits but there is also a agenda that we have to be aware of where it's like uh, certain people trying to take us as far as away from our culture as possible you know and uh they were showing like how uh one of the alien female aliens married to you know a, a human in the movie and how the human, you know, uh, just couldn't get over his human self, you know, in which I'm gonna get into that. And again, the shrine is an important spiritual place for the aliens, you know, uh, and the box is being used in the underground cult. So, matter of fact, you know, you got that aspect they're showing, like, so showing you too indirectly how things, you know, again, using these beings that they kind of showing as you know the the uh melanated beings you know 
drawing that that parallel but again trying to confuse you so here it is where those aliens are the ones starting to cope when it's really like you know say for instance you know, the humans and stuff like that around here you know starting to cope but uh the box being used in the underground coat coat you know or like the acid or lsd being used in the underground coat and the lady from the the beginning of the movie claimed to see uh oh all right so with this underground code that's being started as well, it's like uh, allowing for, again, these humans to tap in to this energy, this energy source. So, excuse me, y'all, sometimes I get to be trying to rush and do these videos sometimes. I be having to catch myself. Take a breather, take a breather. But uh, <laughs> the uh, the box being used, uh, you know, in this underground coat, and the thing with it was uh, you know, again, like with, you know, with what DMT does for us in essence too, on a re reality situation where you know we connecting to these uh different realms and you know some realms where we able to connect with ancestors or you know uh family members who transition and that's what they were showing in the movie well you know they open the portal and uh this alien was you know uh like the guy like and i'm gonna guide you through basically like being like a shaman for their trip or you know like a uh like a guy now uh there's a character named buck buck is like buck is the son of uh like his dad is a is a policeman you know his dad was the one, uh, matter of fact, going through the post-slave stress, buying up everything in the house. Buck is like the main character. So, matter of fact, uh, Buck is confused. Uh, is a confused alien on Earth looking for his purpose, looking for quick enlightenment through using the portal, you know. And, and that's another thing, like, uh, so people who may be sitting around like, man, you know, this shit all in the rut fuck shit fucked up this and that so you know again that that uh and that's any spiritual because again that's why i tell people you know when i speak of melanin you know of course you know some of the melanin may be visible but just like a blake griffin you know some melanin is not visible and some people that may look white they still have melanin you know and even though the agenda is to harm, you know, melanated people because of how coldly objective these people are, they don't give a fuck about collateral damage. So if they do harm somebody that looks like them as well, oh well, and they have that in this movie where, so basically, you know, the, the alien, the, the lady who were, who was like bringing people into these realms, she basically was a, uh, like tricking the humans and, and and she brought buck in another alien so like she's like so the other humans won't you know know what's going on you know we got buck like uh, buck and other aliens you know as collateral damage you know like so it could be believable that this is something not just for them like like because if it if, if the humans were able to see that it was just them being fucked over then or, or, or not even say being fucked over but it was only them you know that's dealing with this box and this energy you know it may raise the alarm for something so that's why you know again cloud diamond so if so like as a government if you see me you know fucking over you know white people asian people and other other you know uh different types of body suits other than melanated people to a certain extent we could kind of still fall under that left false wool of alive like you know are we not directing just you know which they're not gonna say that they're directing anything towards anybody but again at least being able to to make it seem like you know they're not directing that a certain peoples in essence you know but again you know uh in this movie showing buck is this confused alien because a lot of us you know as star beings waking up you know and it's like bro like not wanting to be on earth like what's a lot of the symptoms matter of fact fire agate you know, matter of fact, a little crystal insight, <laughs> you know, good for that, you know, uh,
for beings that don't feel, you know, at home in their in their body. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's like again in that analogy of like, well, you know, uh, well, I ain't gonna draw that analogy right now. Let's just stay on this point. <laughs> again, they're using that 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 uh not that blueprint or that that archetype archetype of a person of like oh the person that's you know spiritually feeling their energy and don't want to be here on earth and looking for some way to connect you know so that basically was targeting people who would be you know uh because even uh somebody like me even though i wasn't looking for spiritual enlightenment quickly through uh you know psychedelics you know uh Like, I could see how a person could get caught up in, like, all right, you're looking for it through, instead of meditating. Because, again, I started through meditation and, you know, uh, you know, actually building my temple up. You know, it wasn't from the promotion of, like, oh, I got to take acid or I got to take LSD. I mean, I got to take uh, DMT or mushrooms to get to a certain point. You know, like, nah, that, that helped and added. But, you know, again, that wasn't, the, you know, the thing. But, again, uh... So just showing, again, trying to pull people in, because you sitting there, like, again, being programmed by seeing Buck going through those struggles, and, you know, he found a quick way, he found the portal as a quick way of enlightenment. And, again, the portal having that, having that direct correlation to LSD is, like, kind of, like, setting up the social engineering for you to look for a quick enlightenment through, you know, something like LSD. And again, he was the only alien, a part of the ceremony. Uh, everyone else was humans. That's like, uh, again, that collateral damage. Just so, you know, people won't know what's really going on. We gotta have one of us, you know, with the situation too. But, uh, let's see. Matter of fact, just another little pointer. They also had uh, what well, milk. Milk was like their alcohol. You know, matter of fact, spa milk. Matter of fact, they would pull out the milk like this milk is from, you know, like how you do wine. This wine comes from 1930 something, exquisite from such and such. You know, it's like, oh, this is the finest spa milk. <laughs> you know, that money could buy. You know, but also seeing too, like how these beings have certain little vices, just like humans. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, again, the more and more I realize, like again, there's a set. I'm starting to realize the reality of a situation. Well, fuck if somebody, you know, think if somebody thinking they better, they ain't the situation. Like literally, like you know, uh, most melanated beings are us that occupy these melanated body suits you know like and we speak of how like the gods came down into the body suits and came and walked with the humans like you know that's talking a lot directly to our story you know and again some people may not because we are beings that's so amazing that you know some of us could choose to come down in a body suit with you know less melanin you know what I'm saying or even no melanin uh, perhaps you know because I believe in a universe, you know, or I know that in a universe that, you know, where all is mine, you could create, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, I put it like this, for us to be so powerful, you know, in all these other areas, but not be powerful, like selective powerfulness, like I'm powerful, almighty powerful, but then I've got to bow down to this energy over here, you know, like, well, shit, look like you'd be able to come in whatever body suit you want to come down here in, but to a certain extent, because again, you know, coming down into conditions, you know, uh, you know, in a body suit that helps you to, uh, you know, to, to coincide in this habitat, you know, in essence. But I starting to see like just more and more of that vibe of like, you know, us being tricked down into coming into, you know, human form. We call it tricked or learning the lesson, going through, you know, a certain school that we had to go through, but whatever it is, you know, 
I'm definitely been catching the little downloads that, you know, again, uh, and that's why I'm coming across these movies, like, you know, these aliens come from another place, you know, uh, and not direct correlation of, like, alienation, but, again, uh, these beings coming up upon uh, humanity, you know, that uh, had a, a, not as a, a more higher level of consciousness in essence. But I digress. Now, uh, also the earthlings taking advantage of the newcomers technology. Matter of fact, they call them the newcomers. And again, like, like matter of fact, like J.P. Morgan taking over Tesla. Matter of fact, again, Tesla wasn't visibly a melanated brethren, you know. So again, like uh, the body suits not necessarily having the uh, visible skin melanin, but the neural melanin too, though, is uh, one of the ways we tap in as well. But again, we're so so amazing. We're we're beings that's so amazing, you know. I would uh. I wouldn't limit ourselves to just being able to come down in a melanated bodysuit. You know, I'm pretty sure that uh, some people, matter of fact, when I look at those who are, you know, don't show uh, the skin carbon or skin melanin, but they riding for the situation like a Jane Elliott, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody that obviously shows that they don't even have a hint of trying to program you to this old system, you know what I'm saying? Like that's another thing to realize too, like, uh, indirectly you know this society and stuff has been so coached on being racist like where well, some people just kind of just naturally just go with it in the form of just because society have been like that for so long that just kind of you know people just naturally act like that even down to a black person being racist toward themselves and you know holding their head down or something when they get around a white person it's like because you just naturally been coached in that vibe for so long like you know it's but uh, again, like the Earthlings taking advantage of the newcomers' technology. So, also, uh, you know, beside find that, and again, this, this they definitely have a uh, the, the 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 strongest program I've seen in this movie. Cause that's again, movies is about the subconscious programming. What, how is it? How are they trying to program my subconscious? And it's many little small things, you know, that I uh. That's another thing with movies or with anything where you watch it one time and then you can watch it again and get something totally different the second and third and fourth time or like reading a book, you know. So it's just my first time covering this, so, you know, may have a few little uh, aspects that I could have spoke on missing, but, you know, we'll get to source of high self or have me to that vibe of wanting to, you know, do another video on this stuff again. <laughs> but, uh... So again, you know, the Earthlings taking advantage of the newcomers technology, just like you know, Tesla coming up with all this technology and JP Morgan and all these people, you know, trying to fund it. And since they couldn't have it, like, all right, well, we're going to fuck over you, your operation, this and that. And you're not telling everybody about this free energy. We're going to promote Thomas Edison and this fucking energy that we could put a price on, <laughs> that we could tax y'all for. And, you know, you go ahead on with all this free energy and wireless shit you talking you know <laughs> now uh now another aspect again though very important uh messing over the, the feminine vibe and also again like uh messing over the black woman in correlation in this movie by messing over the alien woman so say for instance just like how they treated the black woman as as a some type of prize you know uh to what let's see oh yeah just like how they treated the the black woman as some type of pride to take advantage of you know uh they had this in the uh in the movie as well so like buck's sister you know buck the, uh the brethren with the not feeling at home at earth looking for his little spiritual awakening his sister going because too showing you the different aspects you know and uh and again, showing you the aliens are both, uh, you know, not only Buck looking, find himself spiritually, but also the aliens, the, ma the the men are more of like the feminine. They're the ones who have babies. So, you know, also 
promoting that vibe of like not only to look for spirituality in this you no know, hum yin, and again nothing wrong with it but again it's just pro promoting it and promoting demasculinity you know what i'm saying within that vibe as well you know but uh buck's sister you know they had this guy you know this guy had a lot of money and stuff like that and he always was looking at buck's sister and this and that you know and her little human friend like oh yeah you should you know he looks like he really like you and this and that but uh long story short she actually you know stepped to the brethren you know and uh I mean, he saw so much interest, and matter of fact, the brethren done learned uh, how to speak their language. I forgot how, how you say their uh, they names, or the, the name of the language. And, but basically, you know, they spoke a different alien language, but this brethren had done learned their language, so he could, you know, uh, you know, and he had pulled the in where, like, she was liking to do music, or he was doing music, and, you know, got her into it as well but anyway uh but just doing all that just to get close you know to to her so basically just creating situations to uh to pull her in so he could play her because again this isn't a direct correlation to the to the black woman but just in the alien form again that's how they play on your subconscious as symbols not telling you hey we trying to program black women in this way. Are we trying to create this situation to program you like this? Like, nah, you know, again, subtlety. And I, that's why I started off this video with speaking on silent weapons. You know what I'm saying? Again, <laughs> uh, so Buck's sister was played on by a human. Matter of fact, in human and, like, so one of the parts where it really get exposed to, matter of fact, he bring her over, like, got... I think I got some wine, so trying to get a drunk. No, oh, I got some 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 milk for you. You know what I'm saying? Some vintage milk. And uh and oh yeah, like and he start bringing up sex and 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 how like and, and sex with the aliens is different. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, oh, she because she was like, you know, it could get. She's like, nah, I watch the videos and everything. You know, matter of fact, this 1988, but like like it's YouTube or something. You know what I'm saying? So again, foreshadowing, like, oh yeah, I watched the videos. He didn't say he watched it on YouTube or nothing, but he's like, you no, know, I watched the videos, and you know, I, I know how to do it. You know, I'm, I'm ready for this. You know, and he even touched in her in her little G spot, like, which was like in her back area. You know, and you know, could represent you know the spine having control over those chakras. You know, indirectly, but anyway, you know, he touched her right there. But then, some pop up. He had a phone call and kind of find out. The phone call was his partner trying to see if he'd done, you know, done smashed or he done had sex with her, you know what I'm saying? And basically, because they had a bet, you know, basically, like, the humans would have, like, these type of, you know, bets, like, let's see who, you know, could have sex with the with the, uh, the female alien, you know what I'm saying? You see a lot of that, you know? Uh... Because in some cases, that's how some of these fraternities and stuff like that uh, be at, you know. Uh, it's like treating uh, the black woman as this type of little, you know, trophy or something to just be played with or something like that. Again, and that is a personification of, again, just like, you know, uh, pissing and shit and spitting at you. Our, uh, you know, our lineage and stuff as well. Because, again, our... Uh, like instead of following, or oh, my dad' name is this and our last name is after our dad, well our bloodline is really followed through our mom's mitochondrial DNA. You know what I'm saying? And that's a fact, you know. But again, you know, uh, just creating that vibe of of, of showing and, and two, this 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 in some areas, you know, it's not. Like this, I want to say like some parts of this movie was, you know, a lot of movies, you know, in, in general, in essence, yeah, it's about programming. But I find that this movie, you know, wasn't, you know, overly programmed, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, where well, they had the main program, but they wasn't pushing it in every, every aspect, you know what I'm saying? And again, I definitely still got to watch this movie and get, you know, uh more insight from it as well then you had this uh 
so back to the again so you're seeing the betrayal too like with the the vibe of trying to you know it's just like x-men you know should the x-men trust humans or should they not trust humans you know what i'm saying because the whole vibe too uh jennifer was like the magneto character jennifer was the one with the box you know uh the portal and matter of fact uh I'll get back to that. <laughs> so the human cop was considering turning the sacred portal into an amusement park, you know. And basically, this when I first saw that, I, I had remnants of uh, Avatar. Because again, Avatar, the direct correlation of how, you know, uh, the European culture uh, been always trying to rape and pillage the, you know, indigenous culture. Like, just not give a fuck about it and just, you know take over it and kill it you know and just uh try to get rid of it as a matter of fact i always bring up where well, you got it coming out the horse's mouth the first bush when he declared new world order and he like we're gonna take the world order from out of the jungle and start a new world order like he just said it straight up and in a kind of derogatory manner as if like you know like Cause you know the jungle, like the wild, like these beasts. Like we're gonna take the the order from out of the jungle and start a new world order. You can go look up that video again to show you all this falling in line. But uh, again, the uh, human cop was considering, and he mad, mad, mind you, he married to an alien. When he told it, like she was like, damn. You know, and they had a little situation like, you know, like, man, we really are different, but like you, like you humans don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we see, you know, uh, some of those same situations playing out now, you know. So again, a little bit of social engineering and just a little bit of, uh, you know, to an extent foreshadowing in the essence of like, you know, already knowing like uh what was gonna get exposed further down the line in that sense like how you know some of us gonna just start to see like all right damn these people always smile on our face and say they love us and want to connect with us but they just still kind of like uh when you at, when you of a certain conscious level you know you can't forcefully hop up steps you know what i'm saying like i just can't go to an ant and be like ant i'm about to tell you everything about the cult and after I finish telling you everything about the cult, you're going to start growing legs and talking like a human, you know? Like, it doesn't just happen uh, like that. But again, uh, you start to see the direct correlations. Yep, using language, culture to pull her in you know so again i'm thinking about like with uh with buck's sister you know use the language you know the culture oh i got the milk you know all that to, to pull you know or like i jam rap music i speak your language you know hip-hop I, I pronounce my words without uh without constants at the end either you know like it's like all that just to uh you know bring bring her in now jennifer uh and matter of fact too i know i'll get to this uh later on we came down into carbon body suits to interact with the physical plane more close all right that's uh, speaking to uh again what i was talking to earlier uh jennifer or like Magneto, was spit on by a human as a little kid, mad at her mom for not retaliating. And now she's using the portal to lead humans into their debt. You know, uh, and again, here it is trying to create this split within uh, black people's psyche. You know, like the split of like, uh, and again, that's why they, MK Ultra, you know, the broken mirror signifies breaking your psyche down into different little things, like fragmenting your psyche. And that's what they're trying to do with 
Now this uh, this part of the program, and again, like trying to fragment our consciousness of like, you know, should we help ourselves and be aware that, all right, since these people been trying to kill us, continuously to trying to kill us, like maybe we should protect ourselves, you know, and this and that. But they do it in a way, again, that's going to play on the pole. They, they pulling you in poles. So, you know, you got one person that's like, like a matter of fact, the, 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 you could say the, so if Jennifer was like Magneto, the Xavier person would be like a, like Buck's father, you know, the cop, the police, you know, cause matter of fact, here he is appropriating himself, he buying all this little human stuff and, you know, assimilating them, himself into this America way or human way of living. You know, while Jennifer like, ah, fuck that, man. I remember when they spit in my face as a little kid, my mom ain't do shit. She just went along with the bullshit, you know? So again, it's trying to create this, this separation within our psyche. When again, you should just be integrated and follow your heart, you know? Uh, of course, we are beings like, uh, we not looking to harm or hurt anybody, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, reasons why, you know, in essence, uh, I just, we're not looking to harm or hurt anything or anybody. But at the same time, if something is trying to harm me, I will protect myself. You know, I'm not going to blindly look away while you're trying to choke me up and kill, you know what I'm saying? Again, because at that point, you know, you're all over me. So I have to, uh, you know, defend myself. But again, not getting caught up in that vibe again programming our subconscious mind we create the world we want to see of course we do have to be aware of what's going on and have certain little levels of uh quote unquote protection in essence but again it's just uh them trying to fragment our minds into this you know magneto xavier you know uh, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, you know, type of vibe, you know, trying to create this little separation within our psyche, you know, where they could MK Ultra us into one or the other, whatever beneficial, uh, whichever one would be beneficial to them in that moment, in essence. But uh, subconscious programming, trying to make standing up for yourself evil, you know, so yeah, basically that's what they, you know, trying to do. It's like trying to make it seem like, oh, this is it. You know, it's evil to see people constantly fuck over you, but then stand up for yourself. You know, that's evil. And and it's trying to make the, the world everybody else too. So not only the people that's uh, in the position of having to stand up for themselves, you know, uh, being programmed to see themselves as evil for standing up for the right, but also other people to say, oh, you stand up for your right, you evil, you know? Are you racist because you brought up melanated people and you and you're trying to become aware of how people are trying to fuck over y'all all over the planet you're so racist <laughs> you know that's the, the 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 mind frame they're trying to create with that situation here it is uh while a person can speak about wars and bombing shit and how we got to stand up for the fake terrorism for this fake country <laughs> but a melanated person ever thinks of standing up for themselves in a true sense uh oh wait hold on I, subconscious programming trying to make standing up for yourself evil here it is uh here it is as a white person can speak about war bombing shit and how we got to stand up for the fake terrorism, for the fake country, but a melanated person even thinks of standing up for themselves in a true sense and is look, you know, looked at as again, something evil or bad, or you don't know, you standing up for yourself. You know, they, they make that, they make it become something that, that like offends people. Like it offends people for you to be a masculine man and stand up for yourself. You know, that's offensive to society. It doesn't comb society to where your natural state of being is offensive. You know, think about that, you know. And uh, the reverse game, uh, this is how some people 
are using new age spirituality to combat indigenous beings from waking up you know so again you know uh like the reverse game of it you know and again it's so deep i don't want to get into it now because i may mess up the video but like again how like when you're dealing with jennifer character she's actually acting as as the humans are actually doing to us but in the movie it's from uh the alien perspective you know or the melanated being perspective you know what i'm saying through that parallel but really you know again throwing it off where it's really uh like they throwing that dirt again trying to create that image throwing that image on you know uh the melanated person that feels like jennifer in the movie like they're throwing that image of her throwing that coat on us but at the same time acting uh, jennifer character is acting in a way that america act towards us with this new age movement and you know blindly trying to take us in to dealing with this portal all this lsd you know what i'm saying so so they could kind of just get us out of the way you know instead of us you know really know what's going on we mesmerized by this portal so you kind of see the little reverse game of, of that you know and again uh she used social programming to pull in her con congregation preying on people who just lost loved ones or those looking for a quick way to enlightenment so again you know uh even though her perspective is paralleled with you know being of you know uh melanated being a black people as, as they're obviously making a comparison of in the movie uh her character also embodies the energy or personification of what you know the new age movement or you know the social engineering uh does to you know to us because again uh you know she knew that you know these humans don't know of the amazing powers and stuff like that so uh i'm gonna pull in these people who just lost the love and this and that because again when you're in a certain little fragile state of mind you know like your, your mind is kind of open to programming, you know, uh, in certain little, you know, uh, places like of trauma, you know, like where you just lost a loved one. So, you you know, you're looking for enlightenment. So, again, it's like praying upon that. Oh, like you looking for enlightenment, or looking for a connection to this. I got the portal that will help you, you know. And basically, by knowing people's interests, she can control them, you know. Cause that's how a lot of not even agents that work for necessarily government company but just in general like because matter of fact your own aid because everything is a personification of what's going on inside of you let's get that first and foremost again and uh like so let's see knowing the per people interest you know so say for i smoke herb you know once a certain person find that out about me then you know that person will come oh man i'm you know and it's gonna seem like a random situation like it's gonna it's made to seem like synchronicity and like it's not a person who actually plan to kind of cross my path and you know uh actually try to you know connect with me to try to put me in but you know so say fences uh a lot of these beings gonna come in the disguise of your vice in which getting into this next break the breakdown of the Truman show with his partner always coming around with some beers. It's like, he always got device in his hand. Like, not, well, yeah, a device, but like vice, like a vice, V-I-C-E, like, you know, some type of, uh, no habit or something that we have, you know. But uh, again, so I smoke the herb, so it, to, to try to, you know, connect with me gonna be a person that got like an ounce of weed and they're gonna be passing they're gonna kind of just act like oh like we just brushed across each other whether it's a grocery store or wherever and like oh yeah man yeah i smoke herb and this and that man i'm about to go smoke on the ounce right now man you know you're welcome to come you know like oh just invite you to come smoke an ounce you know it's like again knowing your vices and knowing what and then and again it's subtly you go that one time and then oh man you should come and the next thing you know you not doing the things that you plan to do you know what i'm saying or that you came down here to do because you've been pulled away by uh some of your little earthly vices 
know, so also the awareness of that as well. But so next the Truman show. As a matter of fact, in between time, before I even get into the Truman Show, you know, a few little, uh, a little notes. As a matter of fact, uh, I always got to give a shout out to Brother Panic. If y'all not uh, following Brother Panic YouTube channel, y'all should definitely check it out. It's called Occult Lectures. Oh, it's spelled just how it is. O-C-C-U-L-T Lectures. You know, and, uh, that brethren get down into you know because i of course my soul been i've been knowing i'm i'm more than a human being since a little kid but as far as like certain information i'm just coming across certain information there's some like you know uh i'm grateful for my gift to be so intuitive and so you know uh connected where it doesn't take me having too over when I say overread, there's no such thing as necessarily overreading, but it, I don't necessarily have to, you know, touch all these books necessarily to, you know, know that I'm coming across true knowledge. But I always got to give thanks and praise to, you know, the scholars that, uh, you know, that influenced me, you know, and helped me upon my growth. So definitely got to, uh, you know, bring that up because, uh, I want to go to something you brought up in the video. Matter of fact, speaking to Dr. Phil Valentine. Matter of fact, shout out to Dr. Phil Valentine. If y'all not following, uh, uh, Phil Valentine was uh, on Hidden Colors. And I forgot which ones. You know, the DVDs, Hidden Colors, where they speak about, you know, again, like how I did the video of the misinformation of melanin, but Hidden Colors get into, you know, all these different little... Uh, you know, all this different ancient information that they've been trying to hide from us, you know, and breaking that down. But, uh, again, Dr. Phil Valentine said, you know, uh, came up with the, the word entrainment. Like, so not, uh, I, I mean, I'm sorry, entertainment and not entertainment. Like how they say entertainment is like, it's more like entertainment. You know, media put out to train you on a subconscious level. You know what I'm saying? Like on some uh, reinforcement, again, with the silent warfare. You know, and again, go check out my uh, video on dystopia. You know, speaking on Aldous Huxley. Matter of fact, and Aldous Huxley, at one time, you know, was taking ass of himself, you know, all the evidence for his stuff as well. But anyway, you know. Because again, instead of actually whipping black people and giving them the illusion of freedom, you know, uh, matter of fact, I said it in the, uh, speaking in the wrong context, not so the wrong context, but anyway. As that dyx dyslexia, which I ain't gonna say it's just ascension symptom, but some well, yeah, to a certain extent, I see it whenever my vibration is, you know, I got grounded crystals around me. You know, I'm not overly high. I eat, I eat some ground if I eat a fudge round last night. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's not like my vibration is, should be too too jittery, which it probably still is though, because again. The shamanic resonance is uh, raising and changing. But anyway, instead of actually whipping black people, they give them the illusion of freedom and luxuries. Luxuries and material that further keep them from finding out about them their true selves. I will repeat, y'all please hear this because this is the game. And this is for, uh, for everybody who falls under collateral damage as well. Cause matter of fact, cause some people in their ego like, not just black, whatever, whatever, you associate. This is just the agenda, and again, more so towards us. And then, you know, uh, by the fact of how coldly, like, like this thing said earlier, how coldly objective, you know, their view is. You know, like, yeah, they don't give a fuck about anybody at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So, collateral damage. Everybody speaking, you know, but again, the, the main focus, I repeat, instead of actually whipping, because again, and as I say, because uh, it is a thing where it is true, though, you know, you don't, you're not trying to 
I'm using words like black and white and you know all these different terminologies for lack of a better word just for you to grasp this information and get you know to be able to intellectualize and conceptualize this information you know we telepathic beings I should just be sending you this in, in a message of just you know of a visualization but again I gotta use these old lower vibrational ass words like black person and white person and fucking because even melanin and like a lot of that to a certain extent uh you know getting caught up in it again is uh brings us into you know the lower forms of existence and you see how much of this is just a chess game all over mind sweepers everywhere but yeah we good though uh, so again, instead of actually whipping black people, you give them the illusion of freedom and luxuries, you know? Like, matter of fact, like, staying on campus, like on this LSU campus and playing in Tiger Stadium, you know, it's a luxury, you know, to be a gladiator and fight in this stadium right here, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at all the women you get, you know, again, all these things that don't boost your spirit, you know? Look at all the, the money and fame you get. You know, you'd be able to be the man on the campus and this and that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, giving you, uh, you know, material or luxuries in uh, material that further keep keep you from finding out about your true being and your true nature, you know? And it's all in small steps, you know, again, go look at the dystopia video. You know, it's not going to be blatant to where it's like, oh, shit, they're trying to fuck over us. Let's right now stand like nah it's gonna be as subtle as possible you know to the point why some people why i got these videos out and some black people still might think i'm crazy or something you know what i'm saying like that that's the whole you know what i'm saying it's like they got it so programmed and so instilled you know because they done took these left small steps of so taking small steps you know piece by piece because they don't want it to be Again, blaringly obvious, you know, because uh, you basically uh, see what they're doing, so they got to condition you little by little, you know. Piece by piece. Matter of fact, and, uh, matter of fact uh, back to Brother Panic information about the uh, civil rights movement, you know, s socially engineering or subconsciously programming people to not necessarily, uh, like, to do things that wasn't necessarily going to help, like, oh, we're going to march and do this. Like, nah, you need to know that you are a god on the human experience instead of just marching around with some picket signs and shit, you know, but also using key phrases. So just like uh, the tune on, tune in, drop out thing with Timothy Leary. You know, uh, the social engineering phrases of the civil rights move like one step at a time. Or we shall overcome, like at some point in time, we're gonna overcome. Not, not, not like so. Instead of something that reinforces, like now, nah, we're gonna, but it's like, you know, and then, uh, like just the other terminologies from that Tavistock Institute vibe, you know, deadhead, being a grateful head, grateful dead fan, you a deadhead, you know, uh, again, t uh, tune out, you know, all those little. You know, uh, vibes. And again, back to, uh, and also, uh, another thing, which I never watched the movie, uh, Ricochet, but, uh, Brother Panic brought up how, uh, Denzel, in that movie, you know, uh, they basically had a vibe where, uh, something like with him being butt naked, but, uh, but basically, in a scene that was like reinforcing the the vibe of a slave being on a trading block. But the one that I remember, like, well, I remember watching the movie and, and feeling that vibe as a youngster watching that. And, you know, to to have Brother Pang bring it up recently, you know. And then it's it's also, a, you know, synchronicity because, matter of fact, uh, you know, got to be a little human right now. <laughs> You know, my brethren, uh, Sam George, man. Shout out, blessings to Sam George. Used to be the quarterback for Southern U University from Opelousas. But he actually was the, uh, you know, the the stunt double for Jamie Foxx in Any Given Sunday. And actually, 
in this scene that I'm about to talk about, he was actually, I think, the first person to appear in the scene, you know, so even though you didn't know he was the one playing Jamie Foxx's quarterback for the actual stunts of playing quarterback, but, uh, you know, the locker room scene, you know, uh, you go in the locker room with Cameron Diaz, but this locker room scene on any given Sunday was, again, the symbols. And any given Sunday in that scene, did, they, did a part come where they was like, hey, black people, we're trying to reinforce you to feel like slaves and to reinforce this mind frame into your subconscious. No, it doesn't come like that. Why would you tell somebody, hey, I'm about to move my king over here, or hey, I'm about to move my pawn right here. Hey, I'm about to make my bishop go way over. Like, you know, it, you know again, but like uh, where Cameron Diaz came into the locker room with all the naked black men, you know what I'm saying? It's like to personify, you know, that, that, that trading block, that slave block, you know, like where, uh, you know, how they have like the old, got us a, a young buck, an old buck, or got a, a old, I don't know what they call them, uh, heifers or female, like however they treated the, uh, you know, the women. But again, it's to reinforce uh, that slave mentality. You know, where you just thinking like, oh, any given Sunday, man, this is a fire ass movie, this and that. You know, again, but they indirectly programming you into, you know, uh, back into a slave mentality without you really even knowing it or without you knowing it at all. You know, again, I like to fall into that sunken place, get your, uh, <laughs> uh, get your conscious mind through the, oh man, this is Jamie Foxx, this is LL Cool J, this is that, this is that. And then subconscious mind is like the guard. So the guard dogs is, you know, is your conscious mind. And it's being <laughs> occupied by the, the movie, like the little, again, the human aspects of the movie, like just the stuff that appeals to your reptilian mind. And while the subtleties, the suggestions being put into your subconscious, walking straight into the house of your subconscious. So, you know, that's how it works. Now to get into the Truman Show. The Truman Show with Jim Carrey. I had my first time actually watching this. And this has, you know, uh, a bunch of aspects in it as well. Uh, matter of fact, the water representing the subconscious mind, you know, at all times with anything in water. Matter of fact, to a certain extent, that's what a, a Jaws movie is trying to scare you from. It's trying to scare you away from dealing with your subconscious mind. You know, we we dream in symbols. Our subconscious speak in symbols. You know what I'm saying? So, like a uh, shark in the water is like being scared to go into the depths of our subconscious mind. You know, my fact that they had a movie that came out not so long ago with the big uh, another like the big mega fish or big meg or something. You know, with some shark, and it was just basically to. Uh, Again, to scare you away from getting in, going into the depths of your subconscious mind, from you going into, you know, Plato's cave, or <laughs> you know, going into these depths of your subconscious mind, you know, dealing with the great old ones like with H.P. Lovecraft and all this. But uh, so uh, subconscious programming created a storyline that scared. Uh, so basically, Truman, uh, spoiler alert, you know, uh, you know, when you first watching the movie, you don't really know the fullness of the situation until you find out later. But basically, uh, there, uh, there's this show, you know, Jim Carrey, you know, is the main character, you know. But it just seemed like the little movie just following, you know, Jim Carrey. You know, it's his life, and Jim Carrey. But then you find out that his his life is a really a quote unquote reality show. You know, matter of fact, programming getting that prerequisite to to the reality shows and all that. But uh, you know, he basically was living in a so his mom, dad, like everything around him was fake and made up for, you know, this TV show, basically, you know, aka the, uh, the Truman Show, you know, uh, 
And again, uh, so subconscious programming created a storyline that uh, scared him, or AKA traumatized him, you know, away from the water. You know, and that was uh, one of the most interesting things at the beginning of the, uh, you know, the movie. Because again, what the water represents, the subconscious mind, the unknown, also the female energy, the feminine energy, and unpredictability. You know, so uh, they they trying to, you know, get at that vibe right there of like showing you. Because another thing too, you see the symbolism of Truman not, you know, going out or uh, expanding because he was scared of the water, you know, or scared of the subconscious, you know, going into the depths of the subconscious mind that was personified through that. And again, they, uh, you know, the, the show, because the show basically from the moment he was born to, you know, to later, it was all being filmed on this TV show, you know, and uh, the TV show. And again, with this, with the Truman Show uh, kind of taps into, it taps into that eyes wide shut vibe of like, how you realize where, you know, certain synchronicities may not be synchronicities in essence, you know, like where when a lot of, when every, when everybody around you is in cahoots or knowledgeable to a situation you not, you know, uh, I forgot the comparison. <laughs> Falling out, this is a long video, y'all. I've been an hour in, but, uh, what it was, uh, trying to but anyway matter of fact cause that's something trying to keep me from going steady but uh <laughs> I'm speaking of subconscious mind and creating trauma with the water oh and again just the way they they set up so oh and paralleling it to eyes wide shut you know where you know everybody in on this situation but uh jim you know jim carrey don't know and it's also again that initiation vibe where indirectly the government showing you how they uh do operate in some situations with dealing with people same thing with eyes wide shut like how they operate with these uh no sex orgy uh with these sex orgies and cults and stuff like this how they operate you know how brad pitt think that it was a coincidence that you know this uh this rainbow shop happened to have the the costume he needed you know uh and it was just a coincidence that the 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 prostitute or the 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 daughter of the man who owned the costume shop you know, whispered in his ear like the correct thing to wear and stuff like that. Like it wasn't no coincidence or that the doctor pulled the men to that room to help out early in the movie to, to see where his mind at. Like, let me see if he could keep a secret. So I'm gonna bring him in to, you know, to this situation. And not only seeing if he keep a secret, but again, initiating them into these high levels without him even knowing, you know. That's another thing too, you know, uh, you know, it, it mimics the initiation of a, of our spiritual growth in general as well, you know, where like when you're not in the know, it's like, oh, what the fuck going on around me? Or, you know, you're not knowing what's going on, but then as you start to find little bits and people, bits and pieces, you know, you become more and more knowledgeable of situations, you know. But again, just to start, because again, I'm not used, I just go wherever I flow. <laughs> But the, the subconscious programming created a storyline that scared him or traumatized him away from the water. So they're showing you how they use subconscious program within the movie. Creating a story where he loses his dad out on the water. So every time he sees a boat or water, he has his flashbacks of uh, becoming sad or scared. You know, and you see an example of the subconscious mind and how it works within the movie. You know what I'm saying? And again, not only them showing you how it works, but also showing you like, hey, this is the shit that we do to y'all too, and we doing to you. Why are you watching this? You know what I'm saying? Like, again, it's so layered with, uh, you know, with levels of exposure. You know, <laughs> you know, but also esoteric and occult symbolic, symbolical meanings as well as the, you know, what's uh there to program you as well. So just like that, you know, so. Uh, some people trying to wake him up, telling him, uh, you know, that he's, you know, in a show, you know, 
And matter of fact, uh, so basically some people uh, who try to wake him up by telling him he's in a show, they get written out of the show, you know, and again, showing you how like, you know, the government likes to write people out of their shows, you know what I'm saying? Like they like to write, they write Abraham Lincoln out of the show and they wrote JFK out of the show, <laughs> you know, uh, with that type of vibe. And again, uh, this is not fear mongering. Cause another thing too, we take our own, we go when it's time for us to go, whenever we, we create our own universe. So if something quote unquote causes you to transition, and because somewhere in your subconscious you had the you know the belief or you know of whatever that it is that you know whatever that could happen you know that's you you of that belief you know what i'm saying Let's just say that you know there's a reason why dick gregory you know and other people speak on all these things and none of us get in touch you know but anyway uh you know, so within the show, they had this 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 chick, you know, this uh female that he like just wanted to connect with and really like, you know, but you know, and all this time, like again, cause another thing they spoke on, like how you know uh the 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 writer of the show, like this is real, you know, even though he don't know it's real, you see his real emotions and this and that, and so back to that cold objectivity, you know, you start to see that cold objectivity. You know, from the creator of the show, you know, and like, and having Truman in this Skinner box, you know, again, uh, you see all of the correlations, but again, and you can see the people who knew that he was in the show and was trying to tell them was like, you know, like how woke people, you know, quote unquote woke, for lack of a better word, but you know, somebody who's consciously aware is trying to, you know, wake others up. It's like, hey, bro, we in this little TV show, you know, called the Truman Show. Like, oh, no, what you talking about, man? I got a mom and a dad, and look at our house, and we grew up in this house since I was a little kid, you know what I'm saying? So also indirectly showing you how spirituality is or how, you know, again, you could be lost in, you know, this, hum like, being lost in your human part of your existence is like the parallel of, like, being in the Truman Show, you know? But when Truman actually became aware of, like, all right, I'm just in this show, I'm more than just a little character in this show, and he got to a place of, you know, getting out, which we're gonna get to that, but. So, uh, programming us as a viewer, uh, as well to become scared of uncertainty, to fall in line with the cookie cutter lifestyle and to, to not question anything, to trust the misguidance of the system, you know, cause uh, another uh, aspect, you know, uh, Again, uh, him being scared of the water, you know, making them scared of that uncertainty, scared of the depths of the subconscious mind, you know, and it kept him in that little cookie cutter lifestyle of just, you know, going to work and, you know, matter of fact, and that's another thing they always show, like his routine, like get up to work, hey y'all, how do you with this and that, you know, and it was always kind of like the same little vibe, you know. And then, and at some point, you know, you realize kind of like with Neo in the Matrix type of vibe, because it kind of had that correlation as well. You know, it's like, we kind of like, man, you know, I always see these two brethren right here at the same time, and they always, you know, like, people, like, you're starting to feel the vibe of people being so rehearsed in their actions and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So starting to pick up on that vibe. But again, uh, because they had his wife, like, where he started talking about dreaming and like I want to expand and go all over the world and do things like that you know what I'm saying and his wife you know showing you the social engineering and reinforcement I was like well no what about the mortgage and bills and that that's silly you know you're not a little kid like Peter Pan you know so basically indirectly trying to program the audience to uh, fall into you know again the cookie cutter lifestyle like that following your dreams and uh and being your true soul for self is something that's you know childlike and stupid you know like that is something that you know but again uh when this is the true teachings of you know like uh our spiritual nature because again all these movies are constantly trying to do you know is uh combat against you know indigenous uh spirituality in essence you know 
like uh but again the teacher like a matter of fact from the teacher bus driver like everybody is an actor within you know and whenever again somebody because at one point his dad was uh you know gonna expose you know the situation to him so like oh no they had to write him out and they wrote him off until you know he kind of shook back and seemed like he was gonna be you know go along with the show so they brought him back into the show you know but uh his teacher uh oh god damn <laughs> his uh teacher matter of fact with when his early stage in two they were showing you how you know again where it wasn't coincidence where they were socially engineering them all through his growth to have a certain mind frame you know what i'm saying socially engineering them like where he would say like oh, i want to explore the world and go all over the place and his teacher was like nope such and such did it already he done traveled all over the world so you ain't doing nothing new you know what i'm saying so you know again cutting them down like early in the game you know traumatizing them with this program and the repetition for him to be again scared to travel but also again on a symbolic level scared to go into the depths of the uh subconscious mind you know tap into that magic but uh you know and then they had a certain point uh so where he was driving and and they had a little mistake where you know the people was like all right he's turning left on this street he's turning right you know and uh he was able to hear it and so he noticed and like, oh, damn, I'm on this street and this and that. So he realized like, oh, shit, they watch, you know, like something going on here. Everybody know what the fuck I'm doing. So here it is, too. Well, when he gets in this vibe of knowing what's going on, you know, you also, again, gets, you get that vibe of like what they try to do with this silent weapon and silent warfare vibe where, you know, he knew something was fucking up. But because it's all actors that's, you know, in essence, not trying to you know acknowledge the truth to him and make him seem like oh he the crazy one you know like oh he's crazy you know so again you know that's kind of like pointing out to like the mind control mk ultra vibes to a certain extent of like uh a more so just social engineering and uh how with or just more so how the silent weapon allows for you to be harmed but then it's hard for you to rationally point the finger you know what i'm saying because it's not going to rationally make sense to a majority of people that don't even know that this form of uh you know weaponry exists you know what i'm saying so uh you know again as, as he was getting the vibe of wanting to to travel and stuff like that and these all actors and they all some of them have like you know little microphones in their ear and they're getting little messages from the you know and everything controlled from when the sun come up to where it rain and where it rain at you know because to another little insight they dealing with you know he's also in a dome you know with a firmament you know so he's basically like in this little dome the world you know what i'm saying again not saying the earth flat around none of that type of shit not getting into that but just you know again uh correlation to the firmament you know because again the, the firmament and dealing with uh you know having the seven heavens and the layers you know that's something that that's been a part of indigenous knowledge you know uh way before somebody again tried to uh you know, create whatever situation or whatever reality they're trying to create with, you know, the earth. You know, it's like, well, shit, you got, like, the uh, the comedic, you know, situation with, uh, you got Nut and, and Jeb, you know, you got the sky guy, and then you got the firmament, like, was the female. You saw the picture of, like, this woman that's kind of, like, uh, almost like in a yoga position, like, with the humpback, you know what I'm saying? But, like, over, you know, uh over the over the land you know what i'm saying so basically like the firm, firmament or the sky or the firmament encasing the you know the uh the air and the sky and the, and the land you know but that's all you know ancient uh what they call it ancient cosmology 
I use a big word right there. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> the ancient cosmology. I sounded like a. <laughs> and again, that that's programming right there to feel like I gotta be saying those type of words to really be saying something. It's like nah, you know. <laughs> but it did feel good though. It did feel good. <laughs> so also, you know, uh, TV show. So like after they found his mom and. You know, so basically, two and they toying with him, cause they he, they show they brought his dad back into the show, and he seen his dad, and he run into his dad, but then they hurry up and grab his dad, and you know take him away and stuff like that. You know, and he telling his mom, man, I seen my dad and this and that. You know, and uh, matter of fact, I think of a subtlety that she said, it might be somewhere else. I I go back to I probably got it somewhere else, but uh. Yeah, because I'm still going through the notes. Uh, matter of fact, I'm about to move a little quicker without uh, moving too fast. But again, uh, so as they knew he was trying to, you know, go somewhere else and try to, you know, explore, you know, his mom and, and his wife was like, you know, going through old pictures, reinforcing like, hey, look at your wife, you know, and again, showing social engineering like that was deep, like because you could feel it like where they was like sitting down literally like going through old photo albums and stuff like saying you see this is you you know and, and that's another thing too what we realize well how this makes you try to program us uh but more so if we not you know again uh only if we let it but it'll come at us in that form like where our parents or family like try to reinforce us like oh you are call right you know like and of course, I may acknowledge that name, but again, like, but constantly trying to reinforce, like, oh, you are this human. Like, no, I'm, I'm source. I'm the universe on a human experience, you know. But like, they were showing them this little photo album. And look when we first got married, and this and that, just trying to. And you could see, like, in the movie again, they showing you like the little hint, hint, wink, wink in between the actors, kind of sorta, you know, a lot of times, and then also having these avatar where like they had to advertise for stuff like and showing you like the robotic nature of the matrix in essence too where there was like uh like so they'd be cooking with something and, like i love this type of sauce this sauce has this and that this and that because the, it was always being filmed and matter of fact the people in the outside world was always watching and matter of fact uh i'm gonna get into that uh, as well and again let me gotta stay on uh one little area but after they was reinforcing them with the the photo album and stuff as well you know because they in cahoots you know they with the studio director they got the little message like all right turn on the tv and let them watch tv because we got because they had a certain program on tv to again social engineering reinforce so on tv they're talking about yeah uh, love your family don't travel and this and that you know what I'm saying you should just stay home this and that and that's what the TV was talking about you know and he like even he like, like damn this shit just too you know what I'm saying he go to catch the bus you know so it's like he like fuck it no I'm going they like and, and they get to a point where like alright we'll go cause they know like cause they tied to the studio director that they gonna put a fork in this plan somewhere else it's like well you know if you wanna go go you know and even down to some points too, like uh, well, whatever he would do if they was trying to stop, I think about like when he was driving and trying to drive somewhere, and cause they all on radio, they would have cars pile up, like just an instant car jam up, and again showing you these things that, you know, seem like a uh, synchronicity, but they really plan uh situations, you know, and uh all the cars. Like he trying to drive to get to a certain place and showing his wife like how you know everybody like must be acting or something and he gets to a certain place and it's like bam all the cars stop him off and i think about a scene where he's running through the hospital and they're trying to cut him off so they throw somebody in his way and then once he get past that person you know they got a bunch of people in wheelchairs trying to you know uh take him out of uh you know again getting his way again and you just and they, again, they making it obvious within the movie to, 
you know, uh, show show you what's going on with Truman in the movie, and to show you as a human what goes on with you, like how sometimes blaringly obvious these situations, uh, you know, within your own life again may be socially engineered, you know, and being aware of it, because awareness of it will allow you to not fall victim to it, you know. We're not uh, overly staying or fear mongering ourselves with it. Is awareness of the situation, you know, point blank period. You know, uh, so again, like like eyes wide shut, initiation of the viewer. Uh, so, like eyes wide shut was initiating us as a viewer, like. Like indirectly saying, like, hey, you know, this stuff does go on in Hollywood. You know, this is, you know, uh, what really goes on. And, and in essence, like, again, like exposing this stuff, but more so to uh, bring you in as an initiate. Because as you're watching it, you're being exposed and open to that next tier, you know, of, uh, of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like they had the little three tiers that, like, in the courthouse. I spoke on, matter of fact, go check out my video uh, speaking on word magic that I did lately. But uh, again, these certain little tiers of information, like, well, once you get exposed to one level, then you reach this next little tier. But again, the, the movie itself is an initiation, you know, bringing everybody into that realm, you know, because when you see it now, you know, your subconscious is kind of programmed with knowing it. So with knowing it, you're gonna be manifesting situations that bring you closer and closer to that realm in, in all reality, you know what I'm saying? So again, it's initiating the viewer, like showing y'all like, hey, you know, a lot of things that the government, you know, do is all orchestrated, like almost in this manner, you know, socially engineering, making sure you go to this store at this time, and this, you know what I'm saying? And maybe not to tee like how the Truman Show is, but Again, just letting you know, like, that they hands-on in your lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and again, people watching the, and two, showing you how you are as, as being, so basically, people watching the, because every now and then they'll show people, like, at their houses watching the Truman Show, you know, like, this soap opera, like, oh, Truman, we watched them grow up, and this and that, and they count how many days, you know, 10,000 something, something days, you know, from his birth, you know what I'm saying? But people watching the, uh... People watching the show more than doing things in their own life, so indirectly showing you how they uh, brainwash you with television by showing you it in that movie. You know what I'm saying? Like where they had people who they had one brethren. Every time they showed them watching the show, he just sitting in the tub, eating cereal in the tub, everything, just sitting in the tub. You know, because it's also again exposing you to what. Uh, to what they're doing, but also uh, reinforcing the subconscious programming to kind of have you on that that vibe of like, you know, uh, because you constantly seeing people in movies, not give like not really give a fuck with what's going on in the world, like just being on this like a surrogate vibe, like where they just like just don't interact, just watching TV all the time. By you watching that, you falling into the you know the uh, subconscious imprint of being that same type of person who's just like, oh, let me see what's on TV today. Just constantly, you know, so you just all in it. You know, it showed the two little old ladies, you know, uh, watching it, you know, the older crowd. Showed the little, cause two, they hitting that certain little, uh, what they call that, little, certain little places of like, you know, uh, what they call it, demographics in essence. Uh, where you know you got uh the security guards are showing you like you know the, the people that at the nine to five that they don't really like just watching tv all the time matter of fact and i just did a video about the atmosphere of a bar and how a bar disconnect you and they showing you know people watching this uh again unhealthy habits all at this bar you know you're drinking doing all this then they showing the Truman Show at the bar, and then matter of fact, and it comes at certain points where they betting like, I bet you Truman do this, so I bet you he don't do that, you know this and that, you know again showing, showing you, uh, you know indirectly, of how you act or you know, how you act in essence, but also, socially engineering you to uh, be that way as well.
but at that point in time you know when the Truman Show came out again there were people that you know that watched TV on that level so again uh, they had already implement you know they've been implementing the social programming uh, social engineering on that level so you know it wasn't necessarily a uh, I mean, it was adding to the programming, but again, it's just uh, uh, be trying to talk too much, y'all. I, I, what I was really trying to say didn't even need to be said. Like, to be honest with you. <laughs> again, matter of fact, again, working through uh, working through my images as I'm doing this video, but uh, and again, showing how emotionally involved that uh, that they could get people with situations that are made up because another thing from again the beginning where he's like you know Truman even though it's a film uh, show Truman uh has these real you know feelings and stuff like this so just how I spoke about like how movie you know or uh, I spoke about in another video about how the subconscious you know uh the mind causes physical reaction where you could actually feel some kind of way physically from what's going on in the mind or what you're viewing you know what I'm saying? So it was also kind of, again, indirectly exposing, like, and doing it to you. So while the actual Truman Show movie may have been pulling on your actual heartstrings and stuff like that, they're actually uh, talking about it within the, the, the movie and the show and like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, you know, showing how it could pull people in emotionally and showing you how to program and work in essence, you know? seeing how the uh the viewers within the movie get caught up and how uh let's see yep uh seeing how the viewers within the movie you know caught up in you know it's just this media vibe and then also showing you know again how they have us at times you know As a matter of fact and, oh i think about uh again i'm kind of bouncing all around this movie it's not necessarily in order but uh, towards the uh, the end too, dealing with this TV vibe, like where everybody was happy for the ending, you know, happy for Truman, and two seconds later, the security guards like, all right, what else is on TV? You know what I'm saying? To kind of again show you that that deadheadness and kind of program you into staying in that deadheadness, you know, way of uh, thinking and doing things. go over this one because this may uh, have some of the aspects that I could reiterate on. But again, uh, again, foreshadowing or not even say foreshadowing, but, you know, like the vibe of Eyes Wide Shut where everybody acting, you know, in synchronicity, uh, showing that synchronicity may be really a controlled situation, you know. Again, like social engineering, definition of social engineering. Uh, uh, it's like a controlled situation, basically the use of centralized, the use of centralized planning in an attempt to manage social change and regulate the future development and behavior of society. You know what I'm saying? So again, you know, uh, like creating your future. You know, like how uh, Tom Cruise being guided in 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 that movie through social engineering. You know, you know, like well, hey, are you? tired of you why like he might have had a radio show or something or something that asked him about like that spoke of like because he was dealing with the vibe of uh his marriage you know he was dealing with the vibe of his marriage you know not going together and not you know uh not being well off and looking to venture outside you know but like seeing that those set of events was more set up than you know what he thought what he uh, would have thought to uh, believe you know uh, matter of fact yeah, and his brother and, and and so as another thing a social engineer his friend on some synchronized like and then that was the thing like the people you know the people on the show send a friend in send go go up in there with the beers you know and that was always like his partner always coming like to come talk to him man and 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 matter of fact getting to a point of having a bold face ass lie where he was being you know uh the writer of the show 
was, you know, letting the friend what, know what to say, and he was just lying. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm your friend, man. I would let you know. Cause matter of fact, again, he was finding out, and I had the same situation. Like I spoke on this. Like well, when I find out about these agents in the Abbott Kenny area in Venice, some of them I told them straight up. I, I, you know, like, bro, and they kind of just was played it like, uh, you know, haha, you know. I'm, you know, basically like, you know, almost like what, you know, what could you do? Like, again, almost flipping it to like you crazy type of vibe in essence, you know. But you see that vibe within, the, you know, where he like, bro, I'm telling you, my my, my brethren, the man, the people, stuff came on the radio early, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, this is no coincidence, you know what I'm saying? Like, he like, bro, like, man, just have a beer, you know, let's get on this vice you know, aka this beer, you know, and let's just drink and, you know, uh, tune in and drop out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, let's not focus on how to expand outside of this realm. Just drink this brew and everything's going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? That's the, <laughs> the whole little uh, reinforcement vibe. Then another little vibe, though, which it was like double entendre in it, you know, showing you like the fakeness of like the matrix in essence you know the fake so because the dome he's in you know in essence could symbolize you know our realm of reality and i and i say could it, it was uh you know in comparison in a lot of ways you know comparison to this realm because uh at the beginning you know they had a a, a light fixture fall and on that light fixture it said serious and there was a double entendre right there because of course they were speaking on like kind of exposing to uh and again not purposely exposing which though the movies is kind of left to where you know you don't know whether they purposely did it or not in essence but uh but the movie itself did it on purpose but again this uh this light fixture fall and it has tape on it that says serious Mimicking the fact that, you know, that light fixture was probably serving as, you know, say for instance, in the, the big dome that they were in, you know, whenever the night sky appears, you know, and they're using different lights to mimic certain stars. And that light was probably, the, you know, the light that was mimicking the serious star within the sky. But this is also a, a, a charge towards indigenous beings, you know, uh, when we talk about you know the Dogon tribe of Mali you know and uh one of the things they they uh knew that we were connected to the star Sirius and they also mapped out how Sirius wrote Sirius A and Sirius B rotated around each other like a uh, like a helical vibe like a DNA strand you know what I'm saying but uh this is also a personification of you know Hollywood trying to you know say down with the indigenous people down with you know again from scaring, being scared to go in the waters, to serious falling, you know. And, and the water represents the feminine energy. What, you know, what has religion been doing over all these past years is over masculinizing everything, taking the woman out of everything, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you see that aspect though, of the programming with them making serious fall, it's like the fall of serious, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it was trying to indirectly again program my subconscious on, on on that level you know uh indirectly when i first started I, when i first saw it i thought it was a, a space a actual space satellite or something until i got further in the show realizing like oh shit, he in the firmament like he in a little dome you know and again because also again indirectly kind of letting us know that the outer realm it's more, uh, you know, false than, than we give it credence of being. Of course, I may get some type of connection when I go barefoot into the ground and feel some type of connection when I connect with this tree. But the ground, the tree, like this is mama matrix, you know. Yeah, this is an earthly plane, a physical plane with biological life. But, you know, it's a... Uh, I mean, and again, this is our reality. This is our 3D reality in this simulation but again it's a simulation you know uh so uh so I, 
so yeah again like so how we think about all the stars and this planet and that planet you know these things more so as a representation of energy you know uh like and that's not to say you don't like when you look in the sky there's not stars but again look at it more so from the aspect of what's inside of us you know manifests outside of us and even down to inside of us if we believe in some bullshit inside of us then that bullshit we believe in gonna manifest outside of us too you know so <laughs> but it definitely was trying to you know uh again not only personifying or giving the subconscious programming of like the fall of the indigenous people or, you know the the uh the ancestral lineage